What's up, guys? Okay, the California Pro. Um, so, prejudging. It's over with. I'm doing a little late wrap-up. So, we were going into this show, and, um, you know, we knew Tonio was doing it. And so, kind of, probably, people probably expected him to win. Well, now, you got this guy named Ross. Um, I'm not sure who Ross is. Uh, I don't, I've never seen him compete before. Uh, I don't know if he's recently a new pro, but eh, he looks good. Um, so let's talk about the, the let's talk about Sergio first. Okay, Sergio has been over in Do Dubai, trying to clear his head, trying to train like crazy. I like Sergio. Sergio is a big guy too. When you see him in person, it's hard to tell up on stage. Like, but uh, in person, Sergio was impressive. Okay. So he went over to Dubai, uh, you know, hasn't competed in a couple years. Last time, conditioning was a huge issue with him. Um, and and unfortunately, again, with this show, I didn't know until just a second ago, I checked up and um, I guess Chris Aceto was coach, is coaching him again. Um, he just, his photos leading up to the show, he looked peeled. He was shredded. And then at the show, he's, his, he's watch, the, from the behind, he's watery and flat. I don't know what happened. You know, that's a you know between Sergio and his coach. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened, uh, but it's disappointing because Sergio is a higher tier bodybuilder, and these younger guys now are beating him. What do you do at this stage? Do you go? And I know you know Sergio's mentioned a few times. If I lose to the certain show, I'm just going to retire. And these younger guys are are be unfortunately beating him now. Um, you know, I got Tonio. Uh, and um, Ross, first and second, you could flip-flop those. You got Tonio with that full muscle, that pretty that pretty shape, that just that nice size. Um, you know, as me being a judge for seven years, you got, you know, different panels. People think different ways. People like different things. Um, you know, since the recent deaths, these past few, few years, they're kind of like not saying, oh, go good, so crazy conditioning dry to the bone, but hey, this is bodybuilding. You can do, I've always had clients get dried to the bone, shredded, peeled, without their health being in danger. You know, they, won't, they don't want these guys going to take crazy amounts of Lasix and, you know, having their kidneys fail and all this other stuff and their heart stop. That's the deal with that. But, um, so Ross is kind of like the dark horse, came out of nowhere, right? Um, I never seen him on a stage before. Uh, he has huge legs. Uh, his conditioning is spot on. Um, Tonio's shape is better. You know, he has that black guy shape, that real small waist. Um, but Ross is, you know, packing on the size. A um, couple of the poses, the guys, they got to learn, they got to learn their poses better. These guys, you know, on their side triceps, they're messing up. They're doing, you know, Tonio is kind of like has his shoulder inward while he's doing it. Ross is trying to do it and is like losing kind of like balance or whatever. Guys, this is a top level. You gotta come up, come with your, come with your posing. These guys, you know, 20 years ago, they were practicing their, their posing spot on. You guys, this isn't like a local show. Come in with your posing, practice your posing. You can't get gassed out or whatever up there, okay? So I think the judges are probably gonna give it to Tonio. Tonio just recently won the New York and I just think they're going to give it to him for his shape. I personally, as a judge, would give it to uh, Ross. I like his condition. Uh, he's freaky from the back. His glutes are just shredded, shredded, and his, and his hamstring strings are just freaky. And he has some big, big legs. Um, when he did his front and when he did his rear lat spread, and his back double bicep, his back kind of flattened out a little bit. So he does need to bring up his back a lot, especially in the thickness. Um, Tony will beat him kind of like the back, back lat spread in the back department. But then Ross had him in the glutes and hamstrings. So it could go either way. Like I said, guys, I'm more of a conditioning guy. I like that freak factor. And I like people that do their homework and suffer. So I would give it to Ross. I don't care if Tony will just won. Um, it's just at, like apple and oranges. They both have their own look. It's just who's, what are the judges going to like better? And plus, like I said, this Ross, Ross, I never seen Ross. I don't know. I don't know who he is, but he came in the show and I got, I don't know. I don't know if he's competed before at the pro level. I don't know if he just got a you know, pro card, but he, congrats. He looks great. Let's move on to like 34th. Um, 
I got Stu probably in third. He he looked freaky up there, super muscular, just just freaky. You know, not pretty, but freaky. And then you got Sergio, which was really disappointing. I wanted to see Sergio. He kind of was like a late a late entry in here. I really wanted to see surgery Sergio <laughs> surgery. I wanted to see Sergio on point, and unfortunately, I don't know why they didn't hit it. First of all, for, at first I was like, maybe he didn't have a coach. Maybe he did it himself. And then I learned that Aceto is actually at the show dialing him in. And, um, you know, it's, I don't know what happened. It's between them two what happened. But he was super watery and washed out and was, it was disappointing. Of course, he has other shows to get it better. But at this age, I believe, you know, um, Sergio was about the same age as me, like 40. Um, He's got to think about like, hey, these younger guys are beating me now. What do I do? I'm not. I, I, he should. Sergio's caliber should been should have been able to come in this show and wipe these guys out like five years ago, right? Wipe them out. Now he didn't. He's probably got like a third or fourth place. Um, it's uh, time to start thinking. What do I do? I, I went out to Dubai for two years. I just focused on bodybuilding. These guys, no kids, no no nothing, no wife, no whatever. Trust me, when you have all that, life's a lot harder with training and all that. I am lucky if I get to the gym two to three times a week for myself to train. Um, but he got bigger, but the conditioning wasn't there. It was really disappointing to see. Um, then you got Stu, a lot of freaky muscle. Here's the deal with Stu. I didn't, you know, when you diet down, and I made the video on TikTok about this too, you, we have a death face. When I used to keep people always used to tell me, well, man, you look a lot older. I'm like, no, no shit. My face, I would get completely shredded to the bone, like uh, Ross Flanagy style. That's, that's my condition that, that I would get. Um, and uh, your fat strips away from your face. You look really old in the tan, and that's called like death face. But this Stu guy has a different look. He, re he looks really ill. Uh, I'm not sure who he was working with. Um, Someone mutual told me that he really he's really pushing it hard though with the sups super, super super sups, but he just has a really really unhealthy look to me. I I made a comment last show. I'm like, dude, if I was in his corner, I would say, dude, go to the freaking barber and get you a nice haircut. Um, when we judge, like I know when I used to judge, we like a big old bushy beard down to here, stuff like that, and it's distracting. He's got this like it's a like a I'm not trying to make fun of it. It's like a mop up on his head just like this wide. That's very, very distracting because you just look at that and you kind of like are not paying to, to pay attention to his body as much. Go to the freaking barber, get a nice haircut, get a, get a little fade, do something. I tell my clients all the time, like if they're not presenting themselves, you're presenting yourselves. It is a bodybuilding show, but hey, make sure you look okay. Don't come out there with a big bushy beard down to here, your hair out to here. You gotta look somewhat presentable especially if you want to be more marketable and maybe sponsorship wise too, which he's not at all, but he looks really sick to me, like really ill. Um, he needs to check his health out. He doesn't look good in the face, his eyes. He looks really, really sick. Um, and we've had too many deaths in this, in this industry already. So hopefully uh, this will be his last show and he'll get, you know, you know, to get checked up, calm up, come off everything and clean out because he does not look good. We call it that toxic look. I used to meet people all the time, and I'm like, you got to clean out before we start. And they're like, oh, I'm not on much. I'm like, dude, I've been doing this forever. You have a toxic look to you. He has that toxic, toxic look to him, and I think he's in his mid-20s, which he looks way older. So that's my predictions, guys. Uh, we'll see tonight who they pick. I, I think they're going to go with Tonio, but like I said, I know Ross kind of just is a new guy in there, it looks like, but... I like his physique better. I like that. That I love his condition, his big legs. Uh, like I said, Tonio does have the better shape, but you, like, it could go either way. And like I said, the disappointment was Sergio. Hopefully, he can get it together and ne the next show coming there with some crazy conditioning. You know, Chris obviously, Casido obviously knows what he's doing. Like I said, we'll see what happened at this show. Maybe stressed from not competing for a couple of years. Maybe the flight. I don't know how many days he got in earlier from Dubai. Of course, that will make, you know, a difference. Comment down below, guys, and I appreciate it. Make sure you go buy my book on Amazon, Geared Up. It's a short book about my cycling when I was competing, all my cycles in there, and a couple crazy, crazy stories. Comment below. Appreciate it.